everyone. Welcome back to another Gregorius Maths video. Today we'll be doing the Gaussian integral, which is an especially tough integral at first. Uh, we can't use the normal techniques, u sub, integration by parts, trig sub, whatever you want. We won't be able to do this. We have to be more creative. Let's write out what the question is. I equals the integral between negative infinity and infinity of e to the negative x squared dx. <clears throat> and today we'll be going over a method used by Laplace, according to Wikipedia. According to Wikipedia, this is the method he used, he first came up with, which involves change of variables and polar coordinates. But first, we have to square this integral. So, i squared equals... Oh my god, that's horrible. i squared equals... The double integral, both from negative infinity to infinity, of e to the negative x squared minus y squared dx dy. And just to show you that this is definitely this i squared, we can write this out in a more clear way. Well, this was actually e to the negative x squared times e to the negative y squared, but because the base was the same, we could combine the powers. So, this bit here, imagine that there's an e to the negative y squared there. That's a constant in the x world, so we can bring it to the front. So this i squared equals the integral between negative infinity and infinity of e to the negative y squared more right it will bring the y to this integral as well, dy, so the integral between negative infinity and infinity of e to the negative x squared, dx. And now we can definitely see for sure that this is i squared, because this part is i, according to our question, and then, well, it doesn't matter if it's x or y, this part is also going to be i. <coughs> so that's just justification that this is actually i squared. So now, we have to be cunning. We're going to change this to polar coordinates. Um, so, hopefully we all know this. x squared plus y squared equals r squared. This is like the equation for a circle. So if we plop a negative in front, we get negative x squared minus y squared equals negative r squared. So, actually, i squared equals the integral between. Okay, so we'll put the... So, if we want to cover the entire xy plane, which we do, r, the distance from the origin, only has to be from 0 to infinity. Because we can't have a negative distance. It's always going to be positive. And then the integral between 0 and... Well, how many radians do we have to go until we've covered the full circle so that we can cover every point on the xy plane? Well, of course, it's 2 pi radians, e to the negative r squared, times r, according to the Jacobian, which I won't go over in this video, times r, d theta, dr. And now, this is where it comes in. All of this, this whole thing here, is a constant in the theta world. So actually, this first integral is just the integral between 0 and 2 pi of d theta, which is easy. That's just 2 pi minus 0, which is 2 pi, times the integral between 0 and infinity of e to the negative r squared times r dr. Now, now we can use our usual techniques. u sub being the one which we're going to use this time. All u substitutions in blue. u equals to r squared. Note that we can't let u equal negative r squared because taking the square root on both sides would be very messy. Um, so, Square root of u equals r. Okay. So now this 1 over 
2 square root of u du equals dr. Okay, this is just simple differentiation. Uh, the facts that we need to know about this to plug it in. So now this equals 2 pi times the integral between 0 and infinity of e to the negative. What's r squared? Just u. Times r is just the square root of u. Times 1 over 2 square root of u du. But this is a lot easier than it looks because that and that will cancel. That and that will cancel. Overall leaving us with pi times the integral between 0 and infinity of e to the negative u. That square root and that square root cancelled. And then that 2 and that 2 cancelled. So actually everything cancelled out really nicely. This is a simple integral. To do this we just have to do the chain rule but backwards. So e to the negative u. Well the integral of e to the negative u is the integral of the outside which is just e to the negative u. And then divided by the derivative of the inside which is negative 1. So it's just negative e to the negative u. So actually we get this equals pi times negative e to the negative u evaluated from 0 to infinity because those are the bounds of our integral okay so first we plug in infinity if we plug in infinity into our u well anything to the power of negative infinity just goes down straight to 0 so this equals 0 minus we plug in 0 e to the power of 0, or negative 0, doesn't really matter, it's just 1. So minus, minus pi, okay? Because this part is just going to be negative 1, and then times pi, so negative pi. These two minuses become a plus, so 0 plus pi is just pi. And as always, we're done. Hold on. This is... Oh. It's wrong? That's just i squared. So i actually equals the square root of pi. And now we're really done. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.